everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we are talking all about my June and July favorites. Uh, or I guess you could kind of say like summer favorites, but there's more to summer than just June and July. So we're going to start off with the easier things to talk about which are inanimate objects. That's a lie. They're not inanimate objects. That's what I meant to say. Things that aren't inanimate objects. Things that are not objects at all. So, obviously, if you've been watching any of my recent videos, I've been obsessed with Supernatural, which, in case you don't know, is a TV show about main characters, Sam and Dean Winchester, and their life, hunting monsters and supernatural creatures such as ghosts and demons and angels and things like that. I love it a lot. There's 11 seasons. They've recently, I think yesterday or today, one of those two days, started filming season 12, so it should be out in a couple months. Secondly is Criminal Minds. I've known this show for a long time, but I recently started watching it on Netflix. I'm not watching it to watch it for plot. I'm just watching it because I don't have anything else to watch. At the moment, it is about the BAU, which is the Behavioral, behavioral um, Analysis Unit. So it's a different outlook. It's kind of like Law & Order in a sense, but there's a different outlook on it, and it's a lot cooler in my opinion. I love it. L SVU, Law and Order, and I love NCIS, but it just has so many twists to it. It's so much differenter. Differenter? It's much more different. You look more into the criminals than you do in like NCIS or Law and Order, whereas you mainly just see the investigation type thing. I keep touching my shoulder right here because I cut it earlier and I don't want it to bleed on my white shirt. And then second, third, I have a list and I can't sit second, is the video game that came out recently, Dead by Daylight. It is super cute and super fun um, to watch and I'm, I assume to play with friends. It's where you are either a human or this monster murderer guy. If you are a human, you have to f go along with your friends and pump up generators to be able to escape. If you're the monster slash murderer thing, you have, your goal is to kill them before they can escape. And then fourthly, with my um, shows, video games, and things like that, is Gold Glove, who is a Twitch live streamer and YouTuber. Um, he plays Dead by Daylight, and he plays a lot of other games like GTA. Mainly his videos, if they're not a Let's Play, they are taken from stream. Like, they're funny moments from the streams that he does almost every single day. I don't know which is his off day. I don't remember. I don't remember his schedule that well, but... Next we're going on to music. Um, I've really been into the song Hero, um, uploaded by Monster Cat, uh, because Gold Glove uses it in a lot of his videos, and so I hear it a lot, and it's one of my favorite videos, one of my favorite songs. Uh, it's an EDM song, which is electronic dance music, but it just has a, ooh, hiccup, it just has a great beat, and I love it so much. And then I also love Echo, and Got Me Feeling Like by Trevor Moran. Um, they have really funny, not really funny, but just really upbeat dance kind of music beats to it, and the lyrics have a lot of meaning, at least to me, and I love him so much, and he has just a beautiful little voice. I think he's 17, maybe 18 years old right now. Next up is clothes. I've taken pictures of me and some of my tank tops, and I've taken pictures of all of my converse. And those are the two things that I've been in love with. Obviously, it's summertime. You gotta take away your sleeves because it's hot outside. And normally, I didn't like tank tops because I have bad acne problems on my shoulders and on my back. Ugh, gross. I hate it. But I don't know. I just kind of put one on one day and I was like, this is beautiful. And I love them. And I can rock them with my high waisted shorts. And I just love them so much. I have, um,. Rough estimate of like uh, six or seven, I think. And I only took pictures of like four, I think, because it was just what I had clean. And Converse, normally, um, I just wear my normal ones right here. Oh, I knocked off my thing. One second. Put. So normally, I just wear my normal flat Converse uh, that aren't high top. Uh, but I have three pairs of different high top Converse and uh, mainly I wear those with leggings or tights so obviously I don't want to wear them with my shorts because that might look a little weird but I have a bunch of those sorry let's move my hair 
obviously I've been into colored hair. I always have been. Um, just like I've always kind of been into Converse, but I've only recently been able to get into it. I love whenever you braid colored hair, like like hair that's like this, like only half dyed, because like you just see as it braids through. I love it so much. So enough with clothes. Um, I guess we can do cosmetics. I don't know what really this would go under, but it's only one thing. It's cherry chapstick. Obviously, it's summertime. Your lips are kind of going to get dried out, especially if you don't drink enough and you're getting dehydrated. So I like to just go with cha cherry. It, I keep saying cherry because cherry is like the most generic flavor. Like if you look at anything, you'll see like cherry in literally anything. I keep saying cherry, but it's strawberry. It's classic strawberry, and I love it so much. I love the smell. Like it actual beauty I love it so much I have three chapsticks like this I have a non flavored one which is like super strength I have a cake batter one and I have the, my, the strawberry one I always always go for this one unless my lips are like extremely bad then I go for the extreme one but I just love this so much strawberry is my queen I don't know why I always think cherry like I'm not a big cherry flavored person, but because it's the most generic thing and this is the classic, I just click cherry. Does anybody else do that? I don't know. And I recently finished Pippa Towns. I am all about this book. This was absolutely amazing. If you don't have it, I, de I definitely recommend it. It's only $9.99. Ooh. Hit, I was, bah, hit my face. It's only $9.99. It's by John Green. Um, but it's like a 9 out of 10 chances on Audible. I don't have an Audible link for you, but I know some people prefer to listen to books than actually read them because it's easier for their brain or because they're busy. But it's by John Green, the author of The Fault in Our Stars. It's a pretty big book. Um, I think there's 300, yeah, there's 305 pages. But it was amazing. It's very mystery, but it's also not. Like, it has you thinking the entire way through. And it has amazing actual life lessons in it. And it kind of made me rethink part of my life. But I loved it so much. It was so good. It has a movie out, in case you didn't know. That's why I read it. Because I like to read books before I watch the movie. And so I read this. And now I can watch the movie with my stepdad. But in case you haven't watched the movie, or even if you did watch, I'm trying to fix this word from here. And even if you did watch the movie, it was a great book. I haven't seen the movie yet, uh, so I can't compare them yet. I might do something like that later uh, if I do watch the movie. But I definitely recommend reading this. It's probably one of my favorite books that I've read in a long, long time. Um, I might say it's probably my third. My bangs have separated from the rest of my hair. It's not looking good, <laughs> but I would say this is probably like my third favorite book now. My first one is The uh, Force of Hands and Teeth, and then my second one is Deep and Dark and Dangerous, but not gonna lie, this might take second place. I'm not gonna lie, like it's amazing. I love it so much. I finished it maybe a little less than a week ago, but um kind of all I have for this video, uh, a really fast video because there's a lot of people upstairs and they're really loud and I didn't want to talk too lightly or talk too slowly in case you might hear them really loudly, but I just really wanted to make something a little different. I've never made a favorites video. I know a lot of people do it on YouTube, like beauty gurus and things, and I am no beauty guru, but I just thought that this would be a little different and maybe you guys can relate or maybe you can find a new love in some of the things that I love. Hopefully whenever school starts up a bit, I don't know, maybe later towards the end of summer, I can kind of get into more things that are actual objects that you guys could get, but also it's good that I'm into something that isn't an object, because then you don't have to pay for it, you know? Like if you have Netflix, and one day you're like, oh, I don't know what to watch, and you watch this video, and you can be like, oh, Supernatural, Criminal Minds, it sounds kind of good, and then you watch it and you might like it, you know? So it's sometimes good that I do something that isn't an object, because otherwise it would be like, that book sounds good, now I have to go buy it, you know? Or you never know so I just thought that this would be kind of a different video I might do more of these um, every now and then not like every month because I get I get obsessed with something and then I kind of die off of it but I stay with that obsession for kind of a while so in a couple months I'm still probably gonna be obsessed with Supernatural maybe I'll do like a winter favorites so it'll be like different like big hoodies or maybe like a fall favorites so 
Well, so maybe, yeah, maybe I'll do it like seasonal favorites. But I really hope you guys did enjoy um, trying to do new things. I have a new type of video coming out. This should be the Saturday video, so Sunday's video should be something extremely different. Hopefully you guys all enjoy. This was pre-recorded on the 13th at 6.30 p.m. I will see you guys on the next one. Love you so much. Check out my social media links down below. I also have a Pinterest if you want to check that out. I'm going to be start posting crafty things on it instead of just repins. But you know, whatever. Twitter, Tumblr, Snapchat. Don't do that. My cat's trying to knock over the tripod. Don't do it, buddy. Don't do it. Um, Leave a like if you did enjoy. Comment down below what are your favorite things from this summer or from July and or June. And tell me your thoughts. Would you ever read this book? Would you ever watch the shows? Do you know who Gold Glove is? And uh, subscribe to become a bunny today. Love you all so very much. Peace out. Bye bye. Freaking bunny bunny. See you guys in the next one. Bye.